how there's like a bunch of like events going on. Ms. Perry is talking to me about how there is like um, a virtual powwow or whatever that's going on sometime soon. And there's like beating and everything and her room's also good. She, she, uh, she has like this station for like smudging and everything. Sometimes when I'll be having like a bad day or whatever, she just makes it more better because she's so cheery and everything and she's She's always like, oh, you can always come down and talk to me or whatever. She's, she's great. I, I like her a lot. So Ways of Knowing is a student-led course um, designed by educators at Argyle Center. Um, right now, we're, we're strictly online because of the restrictions and COVID, but uh, last year, we had the opportunity to meet several times in person. Um, this course is compiled of different schools meeting together and talking about Indigenous ways of knowing. And this year, we're also starting to discover other, other ways of knowing other cultures. So we're looking into Africa, Australia, those histories that are often not spoken about in classrooms. Indigenous Studies 30 is um, a really great course for students to take if they want to learn in an inviting environment um, that doesn't include multiple choice exams. Um, that's, it's not a very stressful environment. With the teachers that are often teaching it, um, we take a more cultural approach and really learn about how Indigenous people learn and discussion circles and um, presentations are as uh, apparent. Uh, we're mostly just learning through discussion and a lot of Indigenous voices are raised so there are a lot of videos that we watch in Indigenous Studies but I think that that is more constructive to learn from the people who have gone through the experiences and um, have more knowledge than maybe uh, someone who's learning from a textbook would. Danse! My name is Diane Perry and I'm proud to be a First Nations, Métis, and Inuit student advisor and a teacher here at Ross Shepherd High School. I am an Indigenous advisor and as an Indigenous advisor, I walk together with my students and their families by providing a circle of support. Along with student services, I'm here to find resources and help solve challenges and find answers. I can provide extra support such as educational planning and create schedules tailored to address your needs and help you find truth in a one-on-one -on -one setting. I will support you plan, and I can assist you in applying for post-secondary, scholarships, career planning for the world of work, and help you prepare for your future career. Students can drop by for a mental health wellness support to discuss personal problems, and I can help you as you move from grade nine into grade 10 with personal visits to discuss your success plan for the next three years with us. By grade 12, students may want support exploring programs such as the TIP program, which is the transitional year program at the U of A, or the Bold Eagle program, or potential summer camps to access cultural teachings and ceremonies. As your liaison, it's my commitment to connect you with resources in our school and in our community. And at Ross Shep, we provide opportunities for all students to develop an understanding and respect for the histories, culture, language, contributions and perspectives as well as the experience of our First Nations, Métis and Inuit people. Both our Indigenous and non-Indigenous students at SHEP may engage in a diverse and rich cultural programming such as the Ways of Knowing or Aboriginal Studies to explore treaties, natural law, self-government. We also honour the legends and oral storytelling of Indigenous peoples. At SHEP we are committed to offering opportunities to come together in community and hold spaces for all voices to be heard and for our stories to be told. As we walk together, I am here to help you find a balance between your academics and culture. Here at SHEP, we have a student hub for Indigenous students to feel a sense of belonging and connection to each other in a shared space. A space to study, to use computers, to spend time with friends at lunch in a space for ceremony to practice Indigenous culture and spirituality. Here you can gather with other Indigenous students in the hub, working and growing in your SHEP community that honors our distinct knowledge. I'm excited for you to join our SHEP family and know you have a community of support who is looking forward to walking with you on this journey.